everybody welcome back to the channel today me and the wife are headed up to Broken Arrow Oklahoma to buy a new piece for the Camaro uh, buddy of mine that I met through the uh, Camaro clubs got got it up there and he sold his fifth gen and bought a, uh, a new ZL11LE so we don't need this piece anymore still brand new in the box uh, I'm not going to tell you what it is right now but you'll see here in just a minute on the video what it is so we're heading up there now to uh, to go buy this thing and check it out, and uh, then we're gonna install it on the car and see how it looks. So I just got up here and picked up the item. I won't tell you what it is yet, but I will show you. Uh, it's in that cardboard box there, so you might have an idea what it is. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today is the day that streetcar takeover is back in Oklahoma City. So we are fixing to head from the house and go up to Twin Peaks off of I-240. I'm sorry, off of I-40 in Oklahoma City. And uh, go up there to Twin Peaks where everybody's at tonight. It's like the big meet and greet, meet and eat. And uh, see what all's going on out there today. Uh, they're going to have shit have a mobile dyno, bunch of cars. So uh, this is the night before we go out to the track and they do their thing out there tomorrow so we're gonna head out that way now and we'll see you there one other thing i forgot to mention uh something that i did today normally i uh you know try to find content to make uh videos with and uh show you guys so i can keep stuff on my channel and today i screwed up so today i actually uh with a buddy of mine installed a new carbon fiber front splitter so that's what was in the box that uh, I showed you guys didn't tell you what was in it but it's an APR carbon fiber front splitter and here's what it looks like on the car uh, I'd like to say that everything went well and went without any problems but uh, we took the front end off you know I watched a couple YouTube videos on that thanks guys that did that for me uh, there was no ZL1s on there but I did find some Camaros Watch some videos on that, and from that I got the basics on how to get the front end off. We got that off. Um, the instructions that you get from APR on how to put this thing on is ridiculous. It, it there, there really basically is no instructions whatsoever. You have to look at other people's videos to see what they've done. So that's what we did to kind of get some ideas. Um, so we pulled the front, the whole front clip off the car. And then after we did that, to make it easier, or what we thought was going to be easier, we pulled the little air dam out right along here. Separated that from the bumper up here. And then went to drilling holes uh, in the bottom line, trying to line everything up, drilling all the holes, and trying to make everything look even. And put it back on, and the air dam would not fit back inside the bumper. So we had to go from there pull it back apart because the bolts were keeping it from going back together so we had to pull it off turn the bolts around and put them a few of them back in and then we had to put the air dam back on it was a mess it really was a mess but the very first hole that I drilled from underneath the bumper uh, with a drill bit I, I thought I didn't think I was going too fast but apparently plastics really easy to cut with a drill bit and I got a boo-boo so that's just gonna drive me absolutely crazy uh, now so I gotta talk to some of my paint and body guys or I'm, I'm even entertaining an uh, idea of maybe getting it wrapped uh, that part wrapped fill that hole in a little bit and then just put a, a matte black wrap over it and see how that looks but anyway so there's the new APR carbon fiber front splitter uh, installed on the 2013 ZL1 um, other than the whole the, the mishap that I had I think it looks awesome it really looks good on the car uh, gives it a more aggressive stance I think a more aggressive look so wished I would have got that on video though uh, it was a it was a it took us about five hours from start to finish to pull it off to finally getting everything back on there anyway that's that for now so now we're off to uh, streetcar takeover. We'll see you there. <laughs>
say that it's almost pointless to be out here videoing today, but there's a lot of people and there's a lot of cars. So it makes it hard to get any really good shots, but we're out here getting some footage for you. So uh, we're gonna walk around a little bit more and see what we can do. It's crazy out here. And we are back from Streetcar Takeover in Oklahoma City 2018. Uh, went out there, as you guys can see, man, there was there were people everywhere, there were cars everywhere. I've been going for the last three or four years, and I think I've got to uh, say this is probably the uh, most people, uh, cars, and vendors that I've seen out there. Now, they, they try to hold this in Twin Peaks um, parking lot. But it kind of spills over into the neighboring businesses like Chick-fil-A's right next door. And then on the north side of Twin Peaks is a uh, big business district with uh, some big uh, strip malls on the other side. So it's got like huge parking and there's probably, I can't even, I can't even guess, there, there, you know, there's probably 400 cars there. Uh, it was just big if not bigger than uh, our coffee and cars in Oklahoma City um, on a really nice day so uh, you know I went out there and, and got um, got some videos some pretty cool cars there was a really nice McLaren out there um, uh, there, there was a Lambo and a couple other cars Daddy Dave was out there uh, if you go back and watch through the video there is at least two shots of him um, that you should, you know, if you if you watch it carefully, you should be able to see Daddy Dave. And he's just out there walking around, just like everybody else, having a good time, you know. Uh, I think he even threw his car up on the dyno at one point, and um, uh, the one that he drove out there, and uh, got some numbers on that. Uh, but you know, all in all, uh, the this streetcar takeover uh, meet at Twin Peaks was bigger than any that I've seen. Um, I will not be able to attend the uh, second day that's going to be out at Thunder Valley in Noble, Oklahoma. If, uh, if you guys are uh, in the area tomorrow, I'm going to I'm posting this video tonight. I'm going to edit it and post it before I leave because i got some, some family stuff to do tomorrow so I can't go. But um, if you guys are in the area, go out there and check that out. I mean, it's, it's a pretty big event out there. They, they do all kinds of racing, index racing. Um, you know, run with your brung. Uh, it, it's just they got all kinds of stuff out there tomorrow. I usually run in the uh, the 11 second index class in uh, my Camaro, and then I usually run the 12 second index class 
uh, if I'm driving the wife's car if she's not doing it uh, but um, her car used to be really consistent 12s until we did E85 and you know the headers and all that stuff on it so it's run a little bit faster now my car I really haven't been out there since I got the uh, E85 put on it um, and got the slash tune I think I'm making about 80 more horsepower than what I was before I got this last batch of mods done and I was running like 10 nines at the time so um, hopefully at some point I can get back out there this year and uh, see if I can't get I'd like to get in 10 5 with it if I could I, th I think the car's capable of it just uh, driver mod we'll see but anyhow I hope you guys enjoyed the video um, seen some stuff on there that you liked if uh if you get a chance next year if they're around if you're around uh next year for this event um and you've never been come come out there and check it out because i'm telling you you're going to have a great time uh there's lots of stuff to see out there uh plenty of food and vendors um so you'll have a good time and if you can't make that night which is usually uh friday night then go saturday to the track and get out there and see what's going on out there because uh, there's lots of racing going on out there. So, I hope you guys had a good time. Uh, if you haven't uh, hit the subscribe button and it's your first time coming to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and hit the like button if you would. And then uh, there's a little bell icon on there. If you'll click that, then it'll let you know anytime I post a new video up and then uh, you can just get on YouTube and see what my latest content is. So, I appreciate you guys supporting me, helping me out with my channel. Really, really appreciate it, and uh, we'll catch you later.